Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Lynn. So for today's video, I figured I would review a martial arts film, which is fine because I've talked about foreign films anyway before. And so it's not gonna stop me now. I didn't stop I didn't stop then, so here we are. This is the film titled Bruce Lee's Deadly Kung Fu. It wasn't obvious enough, it's not the actual Bruce Lee, but an actor named Bruce Lee as a character in the movie. Bruce Lee. Yeah, it's one of those type of movies. And yes, Bruce Lee is a character in, in this movie. And the thing is that, as of course, this one's pretty obscured, it's low budget, and it's just a blast from the past, or oh, definitely. I just got to watching this one not that long ago, and by the way, this is the English dubbed version I'm talking about here, just so you know. But I just feel to talk about this one, because it's been a good minute or two since I last talked about a Kung Fu movie. But yeah, I just figured I'll talk about it, so here we are. By the way, I am fully aware of the fact that Bruce Lee himself has starred in many comics or comics that were heavily inspired by him in one way or another, like these craze kind of thing which is a which was actually a popular trend at the time but i highly doubt that the movie took any inspiration from many of these comics so it has its own story in a way and also by the way the version that i saw is on toby though i don't know for how long because sometimes they'll just keep movies there temporarily and then we'll remove it typically i don't care for streaming services honestly but that's how I came across this movie. Anyway, it still does have this VHS tape quality to it, which doesn't make any sense really, because it's a streaming service. So, okay, I kind of don't mind in some ways because, honestly, the whole VHS tape thing does have a certain appeal to it. Oh yeah, I definitely remember those days, folks, when you come to that kind of a thing. Yeah, I actually still own some of these, really. Even though it's considered dead, dead tech now, but still, there's some charm to these kind of this kind of thing. So anyway, as usual, I have to talk about the plot. So let's get into it, shall we? Of course, in this movie, Bruce Lee is the hero of, of the plot. He's this young kung fu expert, obviously and waiter, whom is attempting to live peacefully in San Francisco. Not a bad place though, I've been there a few times before folks. Yeah, very lively actually. Obviously, that's, e that's easier said than done. But yes, he just wants to live peacefully in San Francisco really. He's living in this place with his martial arts friend, but let's just put it this way. They do run into some trouble with these thugs, I guess. So as a result, clearly, the fight is on. Because we can't just keep things simple at all. Because these individuals seems to never want to give up. Due to the fact that the main character is also facing discrimination. Yeah, that is a thing in this film. So Bruce Lee has to show and prove that the Chinese are not a bunch of cowards at all. Yes, this kind of a story has been used before in other martial arts films where somebody is picking at the Chinese and then the Chinese has to prove their worth, I guess you can say, because there's the underdog in the story and this story is no different. This is definitely one of the better quote-unquote Bruce Lee movies as this one does attempt to mimic Bruce Lee a bit more accurately and to some extent yes obviously as you can guess lots of fighting and there is definitely plenty of fighting going on in this film in terms of fighting it's well choreographed i can say that for sure it is, it is really well choreographed i would definitely say that that's for sure i didn't mind that really i like the, the fact that it was well choreographed throughout the entire film there's plenty you know, but there's definitely plenty here and I can definitely say that it's well executed in terms of that. And there was also, like I was saying, that uh, like I was saying a moment ago, there was also these American thugs as well trying to do their thing. And Bruce Lee 
Woosley has to kick their ass. So the fight in here, the way it's choreographed is actually nice and done. And I like that. I like how it's not super choppy. Like every two like every two seconds you have to have like cut. Which yes, obviously is something I've mentioned before in my other reviews when it comes to this genre. And yes, I could have reviewed more of the more well known stuff when it comes to this genre, but nah. But it's just unfortunate that the more modern stuff doesn't have the same kind of flair like some of these would really. So that's something, definitely. As for the dubbing, like I said, this is the dubbed version of this film. The dubbing was okay. The dubbing here was fairly passable, especially compared to some of the others dubbing. Yeah, some of the dubbing of these foreign films can be really wretched, can be really bad. I mean, I've seen those movies before. Like, yes, that can actually take you out the mood to watch the movie. It can ruin it, which I will agree. But in this one, the dubbing was actually fairly passable. It was actually bearable compared to some of the other stuff. So that's something, I guess, I reckon. But for his worth, the dubbing isn't too bad really in the grand scheme of things so i do appreciate some actual effort being done here when it comes to this kind of a thing quite clearly ultimately i could recommend the this this film for any fans of bruce lee and oh i guess bruce lee inspired i should say and i like the fighting of course the fighting was good i like the story the story itself was serviceable of course in this one in the grand scheme of things and yeah the the way it's edited was decent this film clearly had a direction and just went for it i suppose so there was that and yeah, i can't really complain too much not really anyway at least this version of the story gets uh the movie this version gets an overall rating of a 7.0 out of 10. It gets a 7.0 out of 10 for me. So, of course, as always, thanks for watching and take care. Until next time, see ya. Oh, yeah. Later. Mm hmm.